In this video, we are covering the digestive system. Here we have the esophagus. The esophagus crosses the esophageal hiatus, the hole in the diaphragm, and then it connects with the stomach. At the lower portion of the esophagus, we find the lower esophageal sphincter. And that is what will inhibit the gastric juice that's within the stomach from going up into the esophagus. Now, let's look at the stomach. Can you notice that this part of the stomach right here, right here, is the portion of the stomach that's close to the heart? And that's the reason why when we look at the stomach, we name this portion right here, cardia. So this is the cardia of the stomach. Then this portion right here is the fundus. And then this is the body. And this portion is named pylorus because the pylorus ends in the pyloric sphincter that is in between the pylorus region of the stomach and the first region of the small intestine, which is named duodenum. If we look at this other stomach model, it's better to see all those structures that I just mentioned. So this would be the lower part of the esophagus. Consequently, right here, we would find the lower esophageal sphincter. This portion of the stomach that's the one closer to the heart than the other portions, is what the name cardia, and this is the fundus. This is the body of the stomach, and this is the pylorus, which ends at the pyloric sphincter that we see right here, and then this connects to the duodenum, the first portion of the small intestine. If we look at the stomach on the inside, we can find all these wrinkles. And these wrinkles are named rugae. So rugae are the wrinkles of the stomach. If you have a tag labeling on the inside, I'm asking about the rugae. If I ask about the regions, the specific names of fundus, body, and pylorus, I will be pointing on the outside of the stomach. Hanging down right here in the greater curvature of the stomach that you see here, we have the greater omentum. And we can see the greater omentum better in this model. So this is the greater omentum. It's a fatty apron covering the intestines that you have underneath it. Now, if we look right here, in the posterior aspect, we see the first segment of the small intestine. And this is the duodenum or duodenum, whatever you want to say it. And this is what would be connecting with the pyloric sphincter that is in between the stomach and the first part of the small intestine. So basically, this would go like that. And then this is connecting to this portion right here, which is the pyloric sphincter.